everyone, Elisa here from Lama and Ravel Crochet. Today I'm popping in because I got my quarterly uh, Mary Maxim crochet afghan kit. Now I believe these come out around the season change. So this is the crochet version. They do have a knit version as well. And this is what I got this time. Let me show you. Open it up. And so... It does come in this neat little bag that you can use to store your projects in. So I haven't used one of these yet. I haven't used the bag for storing yet, but I have seen, I, I don't know how well they hold up if they would rip or not. Um, I usually just use other bags. Okay, so this is the crochet version of the quarterly Afghan kit. So I really like this pattern. This is very pretty. Let me show you what yarn I got. So I got low tide for this. They sent me low tide. This is the color Driftwood. And then there's one jetty. So I got four driftwoods, only one jetty, and three weights. This is that blue one. So let me see what the pattern calls for. Because in the pattern, it looks like they did it so that most of the colors are blue. And then there's a couple random pieces in there that are gray. Let's see. It's odd that there's only one of that one color, but there's three of another color and four of another. Hmm. Okay, so it calls for four balls of the main color, three balls of the contrast color, and one ball of another contrast color. Okay, so that's different okay so it's 39 inches by 45.5 inches it says one block is 6.5 inches so one square 6.5 inches hmm. so i definitely am excited to make this i love making grainy square blankets especially this time of year when you don't want a big blanket on you i like making Blankets um, that are just little squares, so I don't have a whole big thing on top of me on my lap when I'm working on it. So this is pretty. Pretty. I will definitely make it. I'm just not sure how I feel about the low tide. So I do. Um, ball fell. Okay. So I do. I have you. I do have low tide. I've used low tide. I have seen people use it for sweaters. I made a couple shawls with it does feel nice but I'm I'm just not sure how it would feel in an afghan huh so not sure if I'm gonna use this for this project I'll have to see but Although, see, the thing is with this kind of blanket, it's very pretty, and I feel like it would be a much better blanket for if you just want to display on your couch because it's so pretty. So I, I don't know if it necessarily needs to be the softest of yarn um, to make this up because you, it's more of like a show blanket, but I don't know. So low tide is 81% acrylic, 19% polyester. I might try this with this yarn, but I'm going to think about it. I'm going to play with it a little bit and see what I want to do. But it's very interesting to have a blanket with low tide. I just would have thought bag, maybe like a cardigan or something. But it's the thing is too, it feels softer in the ball, but when you work it up, it's definitely a little scratchier. And one thing I haven't done, I need to wash a swatch a few times and see how it comes up because I made some shawls and then I gave them to people. So I don't know how it actually washes up. But that's the quarterly Afghan kit. 
So I got eight skeins and I would say that's a reasonable price. Definitely. Um, it's not a bad price for this. I definitely will keep getting these. I really like doing this, um, this kit. Because even though I like to design my own stuff, I, it's it's fun to see what they give me. Some things like the past one um, was like two kits ago when they gave me um, the charcoal yarn to make a cable blanket. Um, it would have been fine to work out, but I feel like it, it would have been prettier in a different color. But that's okay. Um, but this one is definitely going to be high on my list to make. I can't wait to make those flowers. Definitely a good summer project if you want to make a blanket. So definitely, I like it this month. I just think it's an interesting yarn choice. I'm glad that I signed up for this. And I just wanted to share with you what I got this month. And I hope you enjoy watching. Have a great day.